The OpenStack Triple O project is aimed at deploying, upgrading, and operating an OpenStack cloud. As such, it has to interact with pretty much all of the other OpenStack projects. While I was at the project team's gathering, I spoke with James Slagle about his work on Triple O and Ansible. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Let's start with an introduction. Tell us who you are and, and what project you work on. Sure. My name is James Slagle. I work on the Triple O project. Um, I've been working on Triple O for uh, 45 years now. Um, it's evolved quite a bit during that time. During the, the Queen's cycle, uh, I've focused pretty extensively on a lot of Ansible integration and moving more towards a Ansible driven architecture uh, for deploying the overcloud nodes. Um, so that's that's one of the things we worked on quite a bit during Queens and we'll be continuing on that during Rocky. Now I have uh, four or five different triple uh, O interviews scheduled throughout the okay. week, people talking about different emphases in that project. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I take from that that the project's become really big. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, it is. Uh, we've integrated with a lot of the OpenStack services. Uh, we have a lot of contributions from all the different projects for uh, configuring uh, a deployment of their services. Um, and so we've been converting a lot of that to Ansible, as well as using Ansible for a lot of the upgrade tasks. Um, and converting from, from Puppet, right? Yes. Well, not... Not exactly. Um, we, we, we still use Puppet for a fair amount of the software configuration. Uh, we're just using Ansible to drive that deployment instead of using the heat agent. So we're switching to more of a push model instead of a full model. Uh, we found that that's going to uh, scale to a much higher number of nodes, uh, as well as it gives um, operators a lot of the features they've been asking for in terms of running Ansible with things like check mode for, for dry run and limiting hosts, um, as well as uh, getting a much uh, cleaner log output from the deployment. So it's really kind of exposing a lot of the operator features that folks have been requesting. Now looking to Rocky, what's what's on the, the roadmap? I know that the week has just started, yeah. so the meetings are, are, you know, not got very far yet, but, but what do you know? Uh, so during Rocky, we, we want to switch to this uh, Ansible deployment mode by default, as well as move all of our CI over to use that new model going forward. We're going to deprecate the old model. Um, we'll also be looking at more Kubernetes integration um, to also be deployed with, with Ansible um, and also integrating with Ceph Ansible more um, to, to, to use that as a deployment mechanism for Ceph as well. So a project like yours works very closely with many of the other projects. Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, contributions are you looking for from them? How can people get involved in what you're doing? Um, well, all of our development is it's, uh, it's part of upstream OpenStack. So we have a weekly meeting on Tuesdays. Uh, we also have an IRC channel. And we're, we're looking for help in terms of uh, deploying all the OpenStack services. So as other projects... Uh, make changes to how they're deployed, or make changes to their configuration, um, add new services. Uh, we need to be able to deploy those, as well as you know, move away from deprecated config options, things like that. So there's so many projects within OpenStack, uh, and we um, are constantly trying to keep up with all the changes. So. Um, Anyone who wants to help with deployment and configuration of their service, we would certainly welcome those contributions. So one of the other things that, that we uh, continue to improve on in Queens um, is making the infrastructure process more pluggable. So uh, we've always been able to do the bare metal provisioning part. And one of the things that we've worked on is being able to use pre-provisioned nodes as well. That gives us a more uh, hybrid approach to where we can integrate with other provisioning systems or even use uh, VMs for the control plane. Um, and the, using VMs for the control plane 
of the cloud is pretty attractive because you can uh, it's easier to back up and you can use uh, snapshots and things like that so um, that really gives our it gives more flexibility in the deployment model well good luck in your meetings this week thank you i look forward to hearing from you in six months right. thank you very much